Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 227. This is the tag that you want to use if you are looking for this problem on the YouTube. GRE dash 10E for the 10th edition dash page 227 dash QC stands for It stands for quantitative comparison. Your job here is to compare the two quantities in the two columns and decide if they are equal or if one is greater than the other or if there isn't enough information provided there to ascertain that whether or not they are equal. Uh, let's take a look at number, number, four, number one. There are 15 problems here. This is the old fashioned exam when, it, when they were given in paper and pencil which means they are arranged in the order of difficulty. There are 15 quantitative comparison questions. The first five are easy, the next five are medium, and the last, last five are extremely difficult. Number one is what I'm about to do, which is, which is, which, which is supposed to be the easiest question in, in, the, in, the, in the exam, uh, which will explain the fact that 87% uh, of the people who got the, got 87 of the people who took this particular exam got this particular question right. It's a very simple question, very straightforward question. Number one, they tell you that M is equal to 8 or negative 2. They give you two choices. M is equal to either 8 or negative 2. And your job is basically to compare, your job is to basically compare these two quantities. M minus 3 whole squared versus 25. Well, if M happens to be 8, 8 minus 3 would be 5, 5 squared is 25, this is also 25, the answer would be C. On the other hand, if M happens to be negative 2, well let's see, if we substitute negative 2 for it, negative 2 and a negative 3 will give me negative 5, and negative 5 squared is still positive 25, so the answer is C, that's it. The two quantities are equal. As I told you before, a second ago, it's a very simple problem, very straightforward problem. And that was it. Let's move on to number two. Number two. Let's see what number two has to say. Number two says x and y are each greater than 25. x and y are each greater than 1. That's their way of saying that's their way of saying that we are ruling out the possibility of either of them being equal to 0 or negative. So they cannot be negative or they cannot be 0. Let's take a look at it. As a matter of fact this problem is as a matter of fact this problem is so simple and so straightforward that they didn't, they didn't even have to say this part. Let's take a look at it. 2, two times xy 2 times x times y times versus this is what they want you to compare 2 times x times y versus 2, 2 x times 2 y and the first thing you have to realize is that quantity to comparison questions when they give you the two quantities in the two, two columns and they ask you to compare it's like uh, looking at the balance to see where is the tilting which, which side is heavier where in the balance if I, put a, if I put a banana here and I put the exact identical banana on the other side of the balance, it's not going to affect the balance. The balance is still going to be the same thing. So if I have, a, if I, if I have, a exact, uh, if I have an apple and a banana on my right-hand side uh, scale, the uh, right-hand side of the scale, and an orange and a banana, an exact identical banana and an orange on the, on the left-hand side, 
basically what I'm comparing are the apples and uh, what I'm comparing are the apples and the oranges. The bananas play no role in it because they are exact identical bananas. Do you follow me? That's exactly what's going on here. This x plays no role because it appears in both sides. Because whatever this quantity, let's say for example x is 10, whatever this quantity is multiplying it by the 10, and then whatever this quantity is multiplying it by 10, plays no role in it. The 10 plays no role in it. Similarly, y appears on the both sides. So y plays no role. So basically what I'm asked to compare is, if you are able to tell me which one is greater, 2 or 2 times 2, you get 10 points. That's what it is. Obviously 2 times 2. The answer is B. That's all. That's all it was. You don't have to mess about. You don't have to mess about by plugging in numbers and so forth. If you want to plug in numbers and so forth uh, to see to convince yourself that that is true, be my guest. But you don't have to. When the same quantity appears in the two column, depending on what the situation is, uh, a lot of the times we can just we can we can just uh, uh, get rid of it. Here, that's what's going on here. All right. I hope. Uh, I hope uh, you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face personal private tutoring, I'm located in Connecticut. I do most of my tutoring in Connecticut and in Manhattan area, in, in uh, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Jersey area, if you're, if you're there. Or it doesn't matter exactly, where, it just doesn't really matter where you are. Uh, wherever you are, if, if, you, can, if, you, are, if, you, are, if you can work through, uh, work through some understanding, I'll be more than happy to come down wherever you are to help you. Or if you wish to purchase the solution manuals, the answer to these problems in the form of a solution manuals, get hold of me and uh, I'll see to it. Just go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E dot com and send me an email. Okay, thanks.